Classroom Energizer number four, litter box. Students work with a partner and they need some kind of paper on the floor. Working with their partner, they have to pick up the paper and drop it onto their table. You have to shout out what body parts they should use. So for example, they have to use uh, their wrist and their elbow to pick it up. It could be elbow to elbow, foot to foot, knee to knee, forearm to elbow, foot to elbow, forehead to back of hand. Whatever you can think of, let them do it together. A great variation you can use is to put it in a team relay where students have to work as a group or they can work as individuals and the first team to finish wins. Classroom Energizer number five, as if. You have to be creative and tell the students to mimic what you tell them to do. For example, they should jog in place as if a scary bear is chasing them. Walk as if you are walking through pudding. Jump in place like your popcorn popping. Pop, pop, pop. Reach up and grab balloons out of the air. Make sure there is enough space for your students and tell them not to jump into anyone or anything. You don't want any injuries. You just want them to have fun and let go of some of that energy that they've got pent up. March in place and play the drums like your inner marching band. Paint as if the paintbrush is attached to your forehead. Swim as if you're being chased by sharks. Swim as if you're in a giant pool of yogurt. Shake your body as if you're a wet dog. It will get the student's imagination going. Students can act out these fun activities for 20 seconds. You can even put them into groups and ask them to write their own activities, which you can use in the future. Classroom Energizer number six, Banana Game. Pick one student and the other students stand around that leader. That leader closes their eyes and then you take an object like a banana or a toy and you hand it to the students. They have to hide it and send it around and pass it along to each other without the leader finding out. The leader can guess who it is and then if they are correct, they switch with that person. This is an easy game and the students enjoy it a lot. You can also tell the students that they can fake giving it to each other. Once again, you don't want the students running around or throwing things, but you want them to have fun with this activity. If you would like to have all these activities and resources, I put a link to the book in the description below.